As Scotland's largest and arguably most happening city, Glasgow is one of Europe's premier vacation destinations. There are countless things to do and places to explore in and around the city. From music venues to museums and theaters, Glasgow is a place where art, history, and culture are alive and well. Keep watching as Ucation presents the best things to do in Glasgow, Scotland. Glasgow Botanic Gardens as one of the prettiest green spaces in Glasgow, this attraction is bursting at the seams with history, botany, and eye-grabbing architecture. Established in 1841 as a part of the University of Glasgow, the gardens were put under the control of the city in 1891. In 1873, one of the garden's most distinctive buildings, the domed glass house Kibble Palace, was built. A few years later, the equally striking main range teak glass house was erected. Both these beautiful buildings have been exquisitely preserved and are brim with exotic plants from all over the world. Buchanan Street one of the best places to begin your Glasgow sightseeing tour is the famous and historic thoroughfare. Buchanan Street traces its history back to the 18th century and is home to a wide array of Victorian-era architecture as well as some of the city's most famous upmarket shops and eateries. It's really the place to begin your exploration of Glasgow. The street stretches from the Buchanan Galleries on the northern end of town and extends down to St. Enoch Square to the south. You could easily walk the full length in about 15 minutes or so if you're in a rush, but we highly recommend taking your time, as there are many unexpected things that await you in the surrounding spaces, side streets, and arcades. In addition to the Buchanan Galleries, you'll also come upon landmarks like Glasgow Central Station, St. George's Tron Church, Nelson Mandela Place, and Royal Exchange Square. The latter is home to a few of Glasgow's most impressive public buildings, as well as the Gallery of Modern Art and the statue of the Duke of Wellington. City Center Mural Trail Glasgow is a city that embraces its abundance of street art. If you follow this trail, you could admire numerous pieces of urban artwork that liven up countless walls of the city center. A few of the most notable creations have been crafted by acclaimed street artists like Art Pistol, Ayek, and Ali Wiley. One of the most famous is Spaceman on New Wind. That piece was created by Wiley and Recoat. Another standout is Rogue One's Shadow Puppets, which can be found on the Calcaddon's underpass. Hunterian Museum and Art Gallery if you're interested in exploring the wonders of the arts, sciences, and history, look no further than Scotland's oldest public museum. The Hunterian Museum has a vast collection that includes many hands-on and must-see exhibits, including a permanent gallery dedicated to the famous Antonine Wall. The museum also houses the world's most extensive collection of works by James McNeil Whistler. If you're a fan of the classics, the museum is home to many iconic art pieces, such as Rembrandt's Entombment. History buffs will marvel at the exhibits dedicated to mankind's most significant scientific discoveries and advancements, while the exhibits that relate to zoological, paleontological, and geological specimens are equally eye-opening. Kellengrove Art Gallery and Museum this fantastic attraction happens to be one of the most visited art galleries and museums on the planet. It's home to a vast array of more than 8,000 exhibits, covering everything from Salvador Dali's Christ of St. John of the Cross to a real Spitfire aircraft that saw action in World War II. Throughout the massive museum, you'll see items like medieval suits of armor, enormous dinosaur skeletons, and stunning works of art by the old Dutch masters, Scottish colorists, and French impressionists. Glasgow Cathedral Ever since it was consecrated in 1197, this church has remained a sturdy and enduring example of Scottish Gothic architecture. If you think its exterior is impressive, just wait until you take a peek inside. The cathedral is notable for having one of the most expansive collections of post-war stained glass windows in Britain. The real standout, however, is John K. Clarke's Millennium Window. After you've toured the cathedral, nearby you'll find the Necropolis. This incredibly atmospheric cemetery was inspired by the designs of Père Lachaise in Paris, and it dates back to 1833. It's a lovely, albeit slightly morbid, place to go for a stroll and look over the city while imagining what the skyline might have looked like a couple centuries ago. George Square at the center of Glasgow's beautiful and historic Victorian city center stands the flower-covered George Square, which features 12 statues of some of the most famous people with ties to the city, including Walter Scott, Queen Victoria, and Robbie Burns. At the east end of the square, you'll find the Town Hall with its 230-foot tall tower. The tower is a marvel to behold and was completed in 1890. There's also the Merchant's House, which happens to be the headquarters of Britain's oldest Chamber of Commerce. It's hard to believe it was founded in 1605. To the 
south of the square, you'll find a collection of mid-19th century warehouses which make up part of Glasgow's trendy merchant city district. The district features many unique cafes, shops, galleries, and restaurants. During the holiday season, the merchant district is lit up with a dazzling display of Christmas lights and decorations, making it one of our favorite places in Scotland to explore the winter months. Riverside Museum and Tall Ship this award-winning modern museum includes many of the same exhibits formerly featured at the city's now-defunct Transport Museum. You'll find displays featuring items like model ships, vintage cars, horse-drawn carriages, locomotives, and trams, the majority of which were built in Glasgow. Another highlight is the museum's period-accurate recreation of a 1938 Glasgow street. There are also exhibits that cover themes like immigration and famous disasters like the sinking of the Lusitania. Outside is a docked ship called the Glen Lee. Guests can explore the Glasgow-constructed three-masted Baroque vessel, which was meticulously restored with the help of the Clyde Maritime Trust. Guided tours are available. Glasgow Science Center and Glasgow Tower one of the best family-friendly attractions in the city, Glasgow Science Center is housed inside a striking titanium building shaped like a hull of a ship. Inside, you'll find exhibits covering everything from health to technology and scientific principles. It's easy to spend the whole day at this seemingly endless hands-on facility. Kids can learn the basics of the scientific method at a variety of lab-like stations where they can conduct fun, practical, and educational experiments. The museum additionally features a planetarium, IMAX theater, and science theater where guest speakers regularly give talks and lectures. Then you have the Glasgow Tower, which can be found at the same site. The building is the tallest in Scotland, standing at 417 feet high. From the top, at its observation platform, you'll be treated to panoramic views of the city and its surrounding landscape. What makes the tower all more impressive is the fact that it's capable of rotating a full 360 degrees. It was designed in such a way so that it could withstand strong winds. It's the tallest rotating building of its kind in the world. Pollock House and Pollock Park just about four miles southwest of Glasgow city center sits the Pollock House. The house's grounds span an area of 355 acres, and it was once the home of the Maxwell family. William Adam and his sons built the Edwardian Mansion in 1752. Today, the majority of the building is open for the public to explore. Sir William Maxwell's vast collection of Spanish paintings by Velázquez, Goya, El Greco, and Murillo hang on display. There are also several notable works by William Blake and several other famous painters. Painters. Both guided or self-guided tours are available. There's also an interactive exhibit called Escape the Past, where participants try to solve puzzles to make their way back to the modern day. Glasgow Green and the People's Palace Established in 1662, Glasgow Green is the oldest park in the city. It's also just a short walk away from the city center. One of the park's primary attractions is what's known as the People's Palace. This museum was built in 1898 and does a great job of telling the detailed story of the history of Glasgow from 1750 through the 21st century. One of the exhibits features a full-scale reproduction of a typical single-end home from the 30s. There's also a fabulous display dedicated to remembering remembering the old dance hall from the Glasgow Barrowlands Ballroom. Another must-see attraction is the Winter Garden. This massive conservatory can be found at the rear of the palace and contains the wide selection of both tropical and subtropical plant life. Make sure to pop over and see the Dalton Fountain, which happens to be the largest terracotta fountain in the world. At 46 feet high and 70 feet wide, the fountain was built to celebrate Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee, and it features depictions of figures from all across the Commonwealth. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Glasgow? If so, did we miss any of your favorite spots? If not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.